attention, everyone. I have gotten fat, F-A-T, obese, large, jolly, round, more to love. Yeah, I almost weigh two of my wife. You could sugarcoat it, but I'd probably eat that too. It's gummy vitamins. I just had my oldest daughter's 10th birthday and it's made me feel a little bit older and putting some things in perspective. I need to make some changes. Apparently there's this new thing where all these people, these influencers are talking about fat phobia and saying that people fat shaming is evil, saying the doctors don't know what they're talking about when they tell fat people to lose some weight. And I'm here as a fellow whale, as a fat person, as somebody with way too much extra around the midsection. I'm here to tell you all of that is bull. If you're overweight, it's worse than being an alcoholic. It's worse than being a smoker. It is the worst thing you can do to your body that's virtually 100% your own fault. Now, you could be raised with horrible habits by parents, which is their fault, yes. But once you turn 18, once you're an adult, take control of your life, figure your shit out, and then it's up to you. If you want to be fat and happy, that's totally cool. So now that I am fat, I can confidently say all of this is a lie. It's all a psyop. They want you fat. They want you weak. They want you stupid. They want you to not confront the truth anywhere, anytime out of fear of the party. Reject the evidence of your eyes and ears. Anyway, so I'm going to start a diet. I'm going to lose weight probably faster than most people. Also, I'm going to do it unconventional from a marketing standpoint because I have no money. So I'm going to do it cheaply. The diet is going to be incredibly simple. I'm going to eat as much animal byproducts as I want. So meat, cheese, eggs. I don't have enough money to overeat. So I'm not really worried about that. The only thing I have an excess of is eggs and I can just eat as many of those as I want. Um, World Economic Forum can go to hell. The carbs will be brown rice, sweet potatoes, and oatmeal. As much vegetables as I want, and then some fruit. It'll be simple, but I'm gonna eat a lot of eggs. A lot of eggs, a lot of cheese, some yogurt, meat. Then we'll get to mobility, flexibility, strength, exercise, but that is not the focus of shrinking. First meal, beef, veggies, brown rice. Meal two, five eggs, jalapeno, cheese, bacon grease. I have 15 chickens. I'm going to eat so many eggs, you don't even know. I'm going to be the Gaston of YouTube. When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. But seriously, last few days, I've been around like 260. Starting to feel it in like my back and my ankles and my knees. Just too much weight. So got to cut down. That just starts to beat on your body, beat on your organs, beat on your heart to support that kind of mass. It doesn't really matter if it's muscle or fat. That much body weight, body mass really isn't that good for you long term. So I'm going to slim down. Um, my exercise protocol is going to be not overly impressive because I still have to do live streams. I still have to make videos. I still have to take care of five children with almost five-month-old twins. I'll do what I can when I can, but that's not the focus. The focus is nutrition. Animal byproducts, basically as much as I want. Meat, dairy, eggs. Vegetables, unlimited. And then my carbs are going to come from brown rice, sweet potatoes, oatmeal. So it's going to be simple. And then it's just a math equation. So I got to keep myself from being too hungry so that I'm not an asshole. Do a little bit of exercise so that I can be maintaining the good body weight with a high enough protein count to do that as well. So if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, leave a like, subscribe, check out my other accounts because I'll probably post more of this kind of stuff. I don't know how much of this I'm going to post on YouTube. I feel like the day to day, you know, here's what I'm eating. Here's what I'm doing. I'll post on like Instagram or TikTok maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I haven't really decided, but I'm just going to bring you guys along for the ride. Give me a little bit more motivation for accountability. 
that in 2024, as a tremendous broke ass, you, you can lose weight. My profession is mostly sitting down and I'm not paying a membership and driving to a gym to go work out. I can, I can do enough here. I'm over the weight limit of my pull-up bar and dip bar. So I got to lose some emergency weight for that. And then I can start using those things, but just let this be a marker. I was slash am really fat. So I can and will forever make fun of fat people and show the truth to fat people. And I just don't care. Don't care about your feelings. Be fat if you want to, but I'm calling out the lies all the time, every angle. If you stay fat, I don't know, 15 years, shaved off your life. You don't care, you don't care, whatever, but it's the truth. I have five kids and I'm 6'4". My life expectancy is like in the low 60s. There's very few John Maddens out there, big guys that are fat and tall and live until they're like mid late 80s. If I have any hope, I need to slim down a bit. So I'm not trying to be the most buff YouTuber, gamer, media pundit out there. I just don't want to die before my grandkids are born. That's hilarious. All right. Let's get rid of it. <laughs>